and I just tweeted this out, and this is uh, on our webpage and also on our app. So basically, I changed the legend. The white now is one to three. It used to be one to two. The blue here is now three to five, used to be two to four, and this area is now five to eight, used to be four to eight. So we haven't changed the bands that much. I did slide the three to five up just south of town, and I did make the one to three just north of Gaithersburg. Doesn't mean you're getting three in Gaithersburg, but one in Gaithersburg and maybe three closer to town. That's that range. Frederick North, not your snow. You all got your two inches last night, inch or less up in Frederick and Hagerstown. Okay, had to do it. I'm bored, and this may be the last snow of the season, so we're going to break out the breadometer. Uh, you know, one to ten. January uh, is January 16 is the uh, the ten. We're going to make it a two eight, and I got to make it a two eight because for Southern Maryland it's like an eight. And for Gaithersburg, it's like a one to two. So there's your uh, there's your two eight. OK, projections by city. Gaithersburg, one point five inches. Upper Marble, two point five. Woodbridge, maybe three and a half. Fredericksburg could get five with this storm and Chantilly could get uh, two inches. And again, it'll be snowing when you uh, wake up. OK, we've extended. Well, the National Weather Service has extended the uh, winter weather advisories. It includes southern Montgomery County, southern Howard County, all of Fairfax County and down 95 and still a winter storm watch into southern Maryland. They'll turn that into a warning uh, by tomorrow morning. Three degree guarantee. A little housekeeping here. Uh, we did it. We went for a high of 36. Thought we might have a bullseye. We didn't. Actual high of 35. We're going to go for a high of 28 tomorrow. That's it. I have a look outside. Still 28 right now. Dew points very low. So the snow is going to evaporate before it uh, reaches the ground. But I still like this radar a lot. OK, because the snow is already back into the West Virginia, Virginia border. And Somebody on Facebook Facebook me and said, ah, January 2000, not the same analog, but certainly worth watching because that storm was supposed to go out to sea and it came up the coast. I think the, the computer models have a pretty good handle on this. So yellow weather alert tomorrow for snow. Critical hours haven't changed 3 a.m. to uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow. Significant snow for Southern Maryland, five to eight inches and also all the way to the bay, all the way to the shore and temps below 32 all weekend long. So day planners snow across the board to start only in the mid 20s. These are downtown temperatures sunny on Sunday, but only 29 and 33 on Monday with sunshine. We should make it above freezing. Then the pattern changes. That's why I broke out the bread meter because we got 60s on the seven day Tuesday. Some showers in the 40s showers on a Wednesday in the 50s and golf. Anyone low I'll 60s see. Thursday and Friday. Yeah, we're going to be able to deal with this just fine, oh, knowing yeah. that that's just around the quarter and it's a Saturday. So meteorologist Melissa Nord is going to be out in the Sheehy storm tracker tomorrow morning starting at seven. But reporter Ty Chandler from our sister station in Charlotte, North Carolina is out in their storm tracker tonight. So Ty, we hear that they're expecting about four to six inches there in the city center in Charlotte. Be honest with us. Are people freaking out? Yes. Yes, people are actually. You should saw the grocery stores actually the last two days. Bread, milk, obviously all gone, but we're on the roads. And right now, we just give you a look at what we're seeing right now. These are the roads right now here in Gastonia, which is about 15, 20 minutes away from Charlotte. You can see some uh, snow falling. You can see the road already a little slick, some uh, white stuff on the grass so far, not sticking to the street, which is a good thing so far. So that's what we're seeing right now. Not a lot of big snow events where you are there in Charlotte. Do they have the infrastructure, the uh, crews to be able to get out there and, and clean all those streets up in, in good time when it happens? Well, you know, the North Carolina Department of Transportation, they have mobilized more than 1,400 people to uh, work and keep those roads safe. There's uh, hundreds of trucks that have been out. They've been brining uh, the streets for the last 24 hours ahead of the storm. Of course, we do not have the resources like you guys have up in D.C., but we do have a lot of crews that have been out and have been working uh, to, you know, make sure the roads are safe. And the reason why you don't see probably this particular street that we're on, we don't see snow sticking here is because these streets were all brined yesterday to make sure that, uh, you know, they can stay warm so that, you know, the snow won't stick, at least not right away. So that's one of the things that we're seeing. I'm going to show you another shot, our roof shot. Look at that. That's what we're seeing. A little bit of white stuff again. But the roads right now looking pretty good. All right. Well, all the best to you guys. Ty Chandler and Charlotte. Appreciate your That's time. Thanks so much. Charlotte. All right. We're coming right back. Brooks. The contents of this case are precious. The first of their kind. I trust you'll get this to the proper person when the time is right. Indeed. Excellent. 